Do you wonder when to advise your clients to set up an LLC? Many times as tax professionals, our clients come to us and they ask us all sorts of questions. That's why in this video, I am going to tell you the five reasons why you want to advise your client to set up an LLC. And before we get started, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you stay to the end, I am going to tell you a real inexpensive way to set up an LLC. Let's get after it. Our clients are always coming to us, asking us for advice. We need to have some type of concrete idea on why we're going to advise clients to do certain things where we can feel comfortable and confident in what it is that we're telling clients. I want you to understand when a client should set up an LLC. And there's five things that you really want to consider. I'm going to jump over to the iPad. I've listed the five things and let's talk about each one so that you can feel comfortable in your advice to a client. The number one reason why you might want to advise your client to start an LLC is because they want a more effective official legal business structure. If your client is currently operated as a sole proprietorship, we know that anybody can set up a sole proprietorship. There's nothing official about setting up a sole proprietorship. You just actually start and go do business, right? You are, may have a separate bank account, but when a client is ready to become really a official where they want their business registered on the secretary of state website, they want an EIN number for their business, and they really want to up-level their business to a level of professionalism, then you're going to advise the client to start an LLC. They're now going to be officially with their secretary of state. They're going to get their articles of organization, and that's going to go further for them in the event that they're trying to get contracts and they want their business to feel a little bit more real. So that's a reason why you're going to advise your client to set up an LLC. The second reason you're going to advise your client to set up an LLC is when they want to separate their assets from themselves. Now, I always say I am not an attorney, but here's the thing. When you are operating as a sole proprietorship, you're operating as an individual. But when you set up an LLC, you literally are making a separation between you and the business. Here's the business. Here's you. Separate bank account for you, a bank account for the business. Things become separate. So when you're looking for asset protection, you're going to advise your clients to set up an LLC. But here's a real key gem. When you advise that client to set up an LLC, you got to make sure that they are accounting for the books and records of the business separate from themselves. Make sure they open that bank account. Make sure they're putting that business income in that bank account. Make sure that there's a credit card tied to the LLC or they're using a debit card for the LLC to actually do business for the LLC. Don't have them set up the LLC and you don't talk to them about co-mingling funds. Co-mingling funds means I'm operating out of my personal account for my business, my business account for my personal. It needs to be very separate, okay? So that's the second reason why you're gonna advise your client to open up an LLC. The third reason why you're gonna advise your client to open up an LLC is if they want to bring on partners. So let's just talk about that for a second. Let's say that I want to have someone join my business and I'm looking for a partner inside of my business, right? If I'm looking for a partner inside of my business, I may decide to form an LLC because as a sole proprietorship, I can't bring others into my business. So if I need someone to help me with operations, or maybe that person has some type of skill set that I need, maybe they're great in marketing, maybe they're going to bring some money to the table, I'm looking for a partner, then you're going to have them form an LLC. You might be thinking, what about a partnership? Stay away from partnerships. 
Partnerships are the hardest ships to sell. They're not legal, formal anyway. Stay away from a partnership. Go to an LLC because when you bring on a partner, you're bringing on the liabilities of that person. A partnership does not let you separate the liability of that person. But when you bring in a member inside of your LLC, it's better when you need to bring on an individual. So make sure when your client is thinking about they need help in their business, you need to think about, oh, let me advise them to consider setting up an LLC. So that's the third reason why you would advise them to set up an LLC. The fourth reason why you're going to advise them to set up an LLC is because they're ready to go next in their business, but an LLC provides a very simple structure. And when I say simple structure, structure meaning it's formalized again through the Secretary of State. But if they are an SM single member, SM LLC, they're still going to file a Schedule C inside of their individual tax return. But here's the thing. They are now formal. They have articles of organization, right? They can get their EIN number, but it's not so crazy yet that they need to file a separate tax return because they are a single member LLC. Single member LLCs file a Schedule C inside of the 1040 return. Depending on the state that you're operating in, you may need to file an additional form. In the state of California, for example, you're going to file a form 568 with the state of California in addition to your 1040 with the federal, your 540 with the state of California, plus your 568 to do the filing for your single member LLC. So, if they are looking for simplicity, there's no minutes involved. They don't have to take um, for formalities that a corporation needs to take. They do, however, have to update their statement of information on the Secretary of State website in the state in which they're doing business. Outside of that, it still remains very simple. They can still operate the way they were operating with one caveat. Now that they open the LLC, they do need to get a separate business account and separate the records of their LLC from themselves. Okay, that's very important. All right, let's hop over to our fifth reason why you would advise your client to set up an LLC. Tax purposes, they are looking to manage their taxes better. And I know you're probably thinking, Carla, how does setting up an LLC manage taxes better? Well, let me explain that to you because this is very important. When you are a sole proprietorship, as an example, right? Sole proprietorships are us. We are the sole proprietor. There's this um, crossover between us and our business. There's always that question in the back of the IRS's mind, are you a legitimate business or not? When you become an LLC and you formalize that business, you've drawn that line. You've literally said, here's a line. My business is over here and I am over here. When you do that, you are able to solidify your write-offs better. And when I say solidify your write-offs better, those write-offs are coming through the business checking account. So they are classified as business. It's not going to be any question from the IRS like, hmm, is this a business expense or is this a personal expense? At least you have dotted that I, you crossed that T that it is in the business account. So chances are it's a legitimate business expense. So when you are looking for your client to manage taxes better, get all of their write-offs, making sure that their deductions can stick in the event of an audit, you really want to advise your client to get inside a formal entity. Stop playing around with it, right? formalize it so Iris now sees that there is a legitimate business on the table. 
That is really, really important when it comes to tax write-offs. And as IRS is getting more and more aggressive with audits, you definitely want to make sure you are advising your client to do everything possible to make sure that your client feels real good about taking their tax deductions and they're taking legitimate deductions that are going to stay on the return in the event of an audit that IRS is not going to disallow their deductions. So let's hop back over to the iPad. Let's recap our five things that you want to consider and advising your client to actually formalize an LLC. Number one thing, structure of the business. They're looking to be more formal, right? So you would advise them to get into an LLC. Number two, when they're looking to separate their personal assets from the business, you want them to be inside of an LLC. Number three, when they're looking to bring on partners, you hear them saying, oh, I need help. I might have this investor. I might have this partner coming in to help me with my business. You definitely want to tell them about an LLC. Number four, when you know that they need to formalize their business, but they still need a simple business structure, not too much additional burden on them as a taxpayer to operate that business. And number five, when they are looking to manage their taxes better, it's time to go into an LLC so we can legitimize our write-offs. That's very, very important. Now, I told you, that if you stay to the end, that I would tell you a real simple way for you to set up LLCs for your clients. Literally go to the Secretary of State website for whatever state that your client is in. And if you go to the Secretary of State website, there should be a link that says business filings. You can actually set up an LLC for your client yourself charge them what you want to charge them, cover the fee to do the setup because you're going to charge them more than the fee. And you have just added another revenue stream to your business. Honestly, when you are giving your clients good advice, they are going to be willing to pay you. And now that you know better, you absolutely have to do better. That is why I want you to like, comment, and subscribe so that I can continue to update you on everything you need to know to be successful and running your business and advising your clients.